Hi guys, welcome to my most tutorials. Uh, today we are looking at uh, we are solving cubic poly uh, cubic equations. So for us to be able to simplify this one, let's rewrite it. This is x cubed minus 12x plus 16 is equal to 0. But then can you see we don't have anything in terms of x squared. I prefer to write it as uh, x cubed plus 0x squared minus 12x plus 16 being equal to 0. So the first step that we need to do on this question is for us to be able to find the factors. So for us to be able to find one factor of this equation, uh, we'll look at plus 16. What are the factors of 16? Maybe plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4, plus or minus 8, plus or minus 16. So let's try uh, x plus 1 as our factor. So meaning to say we have to check f of minus 1 if it's going to give us a 0. Let's try x minus 1 as a factor. Meaning to say we'll try f of 1 and see if it is giving us a 0. Let's try um, x minus 2 as a factor. And then we try f of 2 and see if it's going to give us a 0. We do the same for x plus 2. We will go all the way till we get a factor, right? So here is going to be a factor of uh, f of minus 2. So with that being said now, um, let's inject minus 1 into our equation. So it's going to be minus 1 cubed minus 12 times negative 1 um, plus a 16. What is it going to give us? When we inject a negative 1, we are going to get a positive 27, disqualifying this to be a factor. Uh, when we... Inject 1, 1 to the power 3 minus 12 times 1 plus a 16. We are getting a 5, disqualifying this one as a factor. And then let's try for 2. Uh, when we inject 2 now, it will be 2 to the power 3 minus 12 times 2 plus a 16. If you punch your calculator, you see that it gives us a 0. Since it gives us a 0, it means x minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial. So if x minus 2... It's a factor. Uh, I prefer to use the factor theorem instead of inspection for this one. Let's write x minus 2 and divide x cubed uh, plus 0x squared minus 12x plus 16. I prefer writing my 0x squared like that so that when I divide, it's going to be very, very easy, right? So we are going to say x into x cubed are many times we are going to get x squared x squared times x will get x cubed and x squared times minus 2 will get minus 2x squared right and then we subtract as we subtract we are going to get x cubed minus x cubed is a 0 0 minus minus x uh, 2x squared is just going to be a positive 2x squared and then we dropped our neg we drop our negative uh, 12x thing and then we say how many times does x get into uh, 2x squared? It's just uh, 2x. So 2x times x, we get 2x squared. 2x times minus 2, we get a negative 4x. And then we subtract again. Uh, 2x squared minus 2x squared, it's a 0. But 12 x minus 12x minus uh, minus 4x, we will get a negative uh, 8x. Our negative 8x, and then we drop our 16 there. It's a positive 16. x into min uh, minus 8x is just going to be minus 8, right? Minus 8 times x, it's minus 8x. Minus 8 times a minus 2 is just going to be a positive 16. When we subtract this, it's just going to give us a 0. So the important part that we want is for the what? The quotient, which is x squared plus 2x minus 8, right? And the x minus 2. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to erase my board so that I can be able to factorize and then we can solve this equation, right? So we got our quotient as x squared plus 2x minus 8. Don't forget that one. Uh, so our first bracket, we are having an x minus 2. Second bracket, um, first bracket, I said x minus 2. Second bracket is x squared minus 2x minus 8, right? Actually, plus 2x. x squared plus 2x minus 8. 
So now let's factorize x squared plus 2x minus 8. When we factorize this one, we have our x minus 2 here. The second one, when I multiply minus 8 and the x squared, I'm getting a negative 8x squared. Uh, the factors of negative 8x squared, that will give me a positive 2x. It's just going to be x squared plus 4x minus 2x minus 8 like that. And then when we factorize by grouping, uh, we we'll realize that we'll remain, I'll maintain my x minus 2 on the outside. Then I'll have x, open bracket, x plus 4, this side minus 2, open bracket, x plus a 4. So uh, x minus 2 maintained. The other bracket is the x minus 2 there. And then the common bracket is the x plus 4. So in other terms, we are having a... Um, Two brackets of x minus 2 so i'm just gonna say x minus 2 to the power 2 and x plus 4 remember this whole thing is being equated to zero please don't forget to equate it to zero like what i did there it's an equation this time around right so x minus 2 to the power 2 is equal to zero and we have x plus 4 being equal to zero so for our final solution we will say here we introduce square root, right? So x minus 2 will be equal to 0 because square root of 0 is that's nothing. So x is equal to 2 twice because we have two brackets for that. And here we take x to the other, minus 4, 4 to the other side. And we are going to get our value for x as a minus 4. So our value for x is a 2 twice or a minus 4 using the what? The factor theorem. But if you choose to use the method of inspection, you are still going to get... Uh, the same answer right hope you guys were following